Hi, I'm Rich Heffron. This is this week's Delaware State Chamber of Commerce Legislative Minute. Uh, we told you we'd give you a little bit of a wrap-up of the legislative session and, and discuss some of the finances. Uh, first, just let me announce that if you go on our website, you'll find uh, the Government Affairs. If you go on that tab, what you'll find is that uh, we've tracked bills all year long. We have a list of bills that we've supported as a business organization and some who we opposed, and they'll give you a final version of uh, what passed and what didn't pass, and they'll give you a little bit of a synopsis of each one of the bills. Uh, we promised what we would do uh, is discuss the finances. Uh, the past fiscal year ended on midnight, June 30th, and the new fiscal year started at 12.01 uh, on July 1st. Uh, the budget for this current fiscal year that was passed by the legislature for the general fund, $3.8 billion, which is about a 2.4% increase over last year. A vast majority of that increase was uh, for two things. Uh, Medicaid and education. Education, a lot of it is because enrollments are actually expanding in our public schools and Medicaid, uh, a lot of it has to do with the Affordable Care Act. Uh, they expanded the eligibility for Medicaid and uh, people have been signing up more people than usual. About 223,000 Delawareans are now under, under Medicaid, about 25 percent of the population. Also, our grant and aid budget is about 45 million dollars. Grant and aid goes to volunteer organizations, community centers, senior centers, uh, volunteer fire companies. That's up slightly from last year, but essentially it's, it's flat. And lastly, the bond bill was uh, $477 million. About $100 million of that is uh, cash that came out of additional monies in the operating budget and uh, also the Transportation Trust Fund uh, and uh, some monies that, uh, that uh, come from the uh, abandoned property. Uh, the remainder is borrowing. This, this is money that goes to infrastructure projects, uh, transportation, schools, uh, government facilities, things like that. Uh, the, what we need to look at now is where are we next year? According to DFACT, uh, we're going to be flat or maybe down a little bit next year. Why is that? Uh, it's because personal income tax collections have dropped, corporate franchise tax collections have dropped, lotteries, everybody knows it's not as popular as it once was and that's dropping. And uh, finally, the uh, street uh, is about $30 million less collected this year than in previous years, and all indications are that's going to continue to drop. So we need to look at our revenue sources as we go forward. We discussed this before. Over the fall, uh, we'll look at some uh, policy changes, and we'll see where, where we end up. Uh, but that's going to be the real uh, uh, stickler next year. Over the summer, we're going to continue the legislative minute, update you on what's going on regulatorily, and also what's going on in elections. We have primary elections in September. And then uh, in November, the general election, we'll give you some updates and uh, maybe we'll even make a few predictions as we get closer to election day. Thank you for watching this week's version of Delaware State Chamber of Commerce Legislative Minute.